Kidia Jata National Assembly member for Wale West has argued that the proposed OIC summit for the Gambia should not constitute any form of any emergency on the government, let alone on the people. He made this assertion during the adoption of a loan of $93 million from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in an extraordinary session on Tuesday. The Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs said the loan deal is meant for the construction road and energy infrastructure to facilitate the hosting of the OIC summit in 2022. For Mr. Jata, the plight of people in the central and upper river region who are rocked with rainstorm is more worth an emergency that loans for diplomatic meetings. For six years they have been grappling with the problem of electricity in this country. It has never been felt urgent. All of a sudden, it has become urgent because there is an OIC conference. Development in the context of a conference is an insult. Providing water for our people in the context of a conference is an insult. I don't know your people, but my people are drinking water as red as this. Anybody who questions that, please come with me. Tomorrow, not only in Wuli, but I have been to some parts of Nyaminas. There are people who are drinking water as red as you were with me when we, were, we went there. And that is no urgent. So, the water they use to flush their ratings is a million times better than this. And that is not an issue. You have not made us an issue. But because an OIC conference is going to take place in the Gambia, there must be good water for a section, very infinitesimal section of the population for that period. And you say you are happy about that. I am not happy. He wondered why was the issue of electric problem for the past 46 years and lack of good water for 54 years of independence was never a government concern until the very day of the loan deal. My people are suffering everywhere in this country. Right now in my constituency, people have no roof over their heads. For three good weeks, no, in fact almost a month now, that is my concern, not this. That is the concern of the people of this country to address these people who are homeless. People lost their lives there. Kids. And the government is still quiet about that. They tell me, yes, we have sent it. I was there on the ground. I was there, it was just a few days ago I came back here. Because of this, this, and you know, again, why this extraordinary session to do what? I was going to come for an extra, extraordinary session for the disaster, and I came extraordinary session for one <laughs> revise of exercise tax, and then this other thing. Do we need an extra se extraordinary system for this? What is extraordinary? The, the moment we stop playing into the hands of the executive in this National Assembly, we do good for ourselves. How do we play into the hands of the executive? They go, they create their business, they come, bah, 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 bah. we want this, ah, it's so urgent, so urgent. And then they drag all of us here, and then we deal with it. When fundamental and urgent matters outside there are left unconsidered, Nobody cares about them. What is not important is made urgent and important. What is important and urgent is made useless. Nobody thinks about it. That is our people. Go out there in CRR and URR and see what is happening there currently. That was C.D. Jatta speaking earlier today at the National Assembly. It could be recalled in the 2019 budget that the Gambia has a stock of domestic debt, $29 billion, is representing 40% of the GDP as of September last year. 
The overall public debt for 2018 was estimated at 121% of the entire GDP, putting the country in the place of highly indebted countries in Africa.